Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Let's get a general overview on all the features and tools inside the newest Corel Paint Shop Pro 2019. Leave us comments and suggestions below this video to improve our next video dedicated to Paint Shop Pro. Paint Shop Pro is a great photo editing product made by Corel Company, collecting several workspaces suitable for both beginners and advanced users. It has everything to manage your photos and professional tools to apply corrections, adjustments, and even special effects to change their basic appearance. When opening PaintShop Pro, the welcome page shows up with news, tips, extras, and tutorials to learn more. Inside Start, you can use New to start a new image and Open to open any of your photos. Under Workspaces, you choose the interface to use. To see all the features inside PaintShop Pro, we will use the complete version throughout this video. On top, PaintShop shows several buttons, such as the Home button for the Welcome page, and the Manage, the Adjust, and the Edit buttons to open the respective workspaces. In case you did not see the Adjust button, you can go to File, Preferences, General Program Preferences, and under Tabs, Enable Adjust. The Manage Workspace is used to import and organize your photos into collections. The Adjust Workspace to apply basic corrections on your photos. And the Edit Workspace to add advanced modifications and special effects. Let's start with the Manage Workspace. This workspace is divided in several palettes. On the left, you have the Navigation Panel and the Preview. In the center, the list of your photos. On the right, the Info Palette. These palettes can be closed and hidden with the Cross button and reopened by going to View and then to Palettes. The Navigation Palette is used to browse for your photos to organize and edit. This is divided in Computer and Collections. With Computer, you can browse for your photos inside your computer folders and hard drives. With Collections, you can find pictures through their collections, which group photos according to their tags, people, places, and ratings. Once you select the folder or the collection from the navigation palette, all the photos inside will be shown on the center as small thumbnails that you can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel while holding down the control key. To check a photo in full screen mode, Double click on it. At the bottom, you can give your rating, use the zoom bar to zoom in and out, and pan by clicking and dragging on the picture. Use the arrows to change the photo and the buttons on the left to rotate or delete it. Use the escape key to exit. You can switch to the preview mode to check your photos singularly, selecting them from the organizer palette at the bottom. Use the map mode to check where the selected photo has been taken. At the bottom of the preview, use the Share button to share and export your photos outside, and the Rotate buttons to rotate the selected photo by 90 degrees. On the right, the Info palette shows anything regarding the photo meta tag, such as information, people, ratings, and places. To start editing a photo, Select one from the list and switch to the Adjust or the Edit Workspace. The Adjust Workspace has a big preview on the center, showing the picture selected from the Organizer palette, that you can zoom in and out by using your mouse wheel and pan by holding down the spacebar key and clicking and dragging. At the top, you find the Share, the Rotate button, and also the Delete button to remove the selected picture. On the left, you have the Adjust palette used to apply corrections and adjustments on the selected photo. This is divided into three parts. You have the color histogram on top, several adjustment tools in the middle, and other corrections listed at the bottom. The color histogram shows the red, green, and blue color distribution on the photo, starting from the left side, darkest parts, to the right side, lightest parts. 
To know more regarding this histogram, just check out our link inside the video description. Below the histogram, you have several tools. Enable the Crop tool to crop the picture by using the grid on the preview. Use its nodes to scale, the central one to rotate, and click and slide the grid to move. You can also click and drag directly on the photo to size the grid. To apply the cropping, just click on Apply. Inside the Adjust palette, you find all the tool options. In this case, the width, height, or the possibility to lock the aspect ratio of the grid. If you make any mistake, use Ctrl and Z to undo. Use the Undo and the Redo buttons to undo or redo your last actions made. Use the Straighten tool to align the picture horizontally. By stretching the segment nodes on the preview and then clicking on Apply. The Red Eye tool removes red eyes from people's faces. Set the eye diameter from the Adjust palette and then click directly on the eyes. The Makeover tool collects several tools to correct people's appearance on the photo. Use Blemish Fixer to correct skin imperfections, Toothbrush to whiten teeth. Eye drop to make eyes brighter, and suntan to add tanning on skins. Use Thinify to thin people's bodies by clicking on these. Make sure not to apply this tool too many times or you obtain distortion. The Clone Brush tool is a very advanced tool used to adjust the picture colors according to the blend mode chosen on the Adjust palette. On the preview, fix a reference point by right-clicking on the photo. This is represented as a circle with a cross inside. At this point, when you brush on the photo, this is edited according to the blend mode and where the reference point is. On the Adjust palette, set all the options for your brush. Below, these tools have several corrections that are applied on the whole picture without brushing on it. Depth Selection adjusts the depth of the picture. Inside Smart Photo Fix, you correct the brightness and the colors of the photo. Use Suggest Settings to apply corrections automatically, or use the bars below by hand. You can use Brightness to adjust the brightness level of the whole image, Highlights to correct brightness on the lighter parts of the image, and Shadows for the darker sides of it. Use Saturation to set the color intensity. Apply a negative 100 level to remove any color and apply a black and white effect. To edit through these bars, click and drag the marker on these. Use the mouse wheel while hovering over the bars, type the value directly on the right, and use the arrows next to it. Inside White Balance, use Temperature and Tint to adjust the colors inside the picture. On Brightness Contrast, you can balance the brightness with the contrast level on the picture. Inside Fill Light Clarity, set the effect of the light on the picture and Clarity to reduce its blurriness level. Use Vibrancy to adjust the color contrast. In addition, use Local Tone Mapping, High Pass Sharpen, and Digital Noise Removal to improve the image quality, reducing the blurriness level of the contours and any noise. At the bottom of the Adjust palette, you have two buttons. Use the Revert button to reset all the modifications on the picture, which comes back to its original appearance. Click and hold on the Show Original button to show the original picture on the preview. In order to make comparisons, between its original appearance and the final effect of all our modifications. On the right, you have the Instant Effects palette, collecting several special effects to apply to your picture. Choose the category on top and select an effect from the list to check what it looks like on the photo. To apply it definitely, just double-click on the effect. You can use Ctrl and Z to undo.
If the tools inside the Adjust Workspace are not enough, you can switch to the Edit Workspace. As seen from the previous workspace, you still have the big preview, showing the picture selected from the Organizer palette, double-clicking on it. On the right, you have several useful palettes, and on the left, you get the Tools toolbar, collecting all the tools available inside PaintShop Pro. At the top of the preview, you have the Tool Options bar, with all the options for the tool selected, such as its properties and brush size. Some of these tools are the same ones seen on the Adjust workspace, such as the Crop, the Straighten, the Red Eye, or the Clone Brush tool. Others are new and advanced, collected inside single buttons. These are shown as an arrow in a corner. You can click on it to show the complete list of tools inside. Some tools, such as Paintbrush or Oil Brush, are used to draw on the picture by clicking and dragging on it with your left or right click. From the Materials palette, choose the colors to use, such as the foreground, left click, and the background color, right click. Other tools, like the Warp Brush tool, are used to deform the photo appearance by clicking and dragging on it. You can choose the effect to apply from the Tool Options bar above. Below the Paintbrush tool, you have the Adjustment Brush tools, which apply corrections on brightness, contrast, and color where you brush on the picture. In addition, you can use the Selection tools to select limited portions of the picture. This way, if you apply any tool on it, only the selected area will be affected. Other tools add extra objects inside the photo, such as text and shapes. Use the Text tool to double-click on the photo and start typing. Use the Tools Option bar to adjust the font style, size, and color. Use the Shape tool to click and drag on the photo and add regular objects you can customize through the tool options. To learn more about any selected tool, you can check the Learning Center palette on the right side of the workspace. Once you have finished your modifications on the photo, you can save it by going to File and then to Save As. Then choose where to save the photo, its name, and its file format on Save As Type. In case of JPEG files, set the compression level between the best quality and the smaller file size. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our channel and subscribe for other amazing and free video tutorials and overviews.